you guys and girls and everybody that actually bothers to watch my posts and videos. Um, today I'm actually going to be doing a little video instead of doing a, just a shout out post like I've been doing most days. Um, I know I've been touching base on a lot of you know what people consider controversial subjects. Um, like I said yesterday, I wanted to give a little bit more information on that. It's mostly because I want people talking. We can't figure out how to fix what's broken if we don't actually talk about it. And unfortunately, these days, a lot of people aren't talking. They're just screaming at each other. Um, if I don't agree with you, then obviously you're horrible. And, um, you know, it's even to the point that, you know, we're wishing harm, wishing ill will upon those we don't agree with. I refuse to do that. I don't wish ill will upon anybody, not even those that I think are atrocious people. And if I think they're an atrocious people, person, you know, I'll speak out sometimes, but you're never going to hear me wishing them goodwill. I wish that we would change your mind and that they would become better people. But anyway, enough of that. The main reason I'm doing this today is I had a friend of mine last night um, bring to me a question that... I think needs to be addressed in a little bit more thorough detail than what you can do in just a text or in what you can just do in a Facebook post. Um, I think it's more genuine doing it this way and maybe I'll come across a little better. And also as my train of thought goes into different areas, I can just follow my train of thought. The question was, am I successful? I don't feel... He was, he was not feeling like he was successful. That he had succeeded in things that he was wished to succeed in. Which brought up a bigger topic. How do we measure a person's worth? What is a person worth? The bottom line is, only you can measure your worth to yourself. Only you. If you feel that you're not a value in a certain area, only you can change that. There's nothing I can do to help change the value of you. And nothing I can say can change your value. That being said, not everybody's going to value you the same way. You might get Joe on the street that looks at you and says, hey, I like this person. This person has high value. This person I want to talk to. This person I listen to. I respect what he has to say. To that person, you can be of a very high value. Okay, And I hate to use just the terms value, but I guess it's a good term to use. Because then you're trying to put... A lot of people try to put a monetary ideal on the, the word value. But that's not necessarily the case. We all have different aspects that we value in someone else and in ourselves. If I walk up onto a street and let's say that I actually get up the nerve to talk to a pretty girl and ask her out and she says, no, you're not my type, I shouldn't take offense to that. A lot of people do. They are offended because this person doesn't find them attractive or that this person doesn't see something in them that they might see in themselves. Well, first off, it's a random account. That first impression may not be correct. That could be on a little bit on them. Could be. Or there might be something that they value that you just don't have. And you can't be upset about that. What we value is our own personal things. But you can reflect upon it. Look, okay, why did they say this thing? Why did they call me ugly? Am I ugly? Am I an ugly person? Is my heart in the right place? Is my heart ugly? Okay. Maybe that's just that person's opinion. If it's just that person's opinion, then why should you worry about it? If you think that there's a little bit more to that, that, hey, this person doesn't find me attractive, well, they don't like the fact that I weigh 235 pounds. I'm using myself as an example. I don't find myself to be fat. Some people think that I am. I'm 250, uh, sorry, I am 235 pounds. I've come down from 275 pounds. 
That was the height of my weight. I've come down to 235. Some people still think that is overweight. Is it? I can't say. I don't find it overweight. But what I can say is that evaluating it myself is that I would like personally to lose about 20 to 30 more pounds. That's my decision. That's what I can do. Maybe that will make myself more attractive to that person. Maybe not. I'm 48. I am not in the top 10% of looks. I cannot be upset about that. I have to look at that fact myself. The only person that can change that is me. Okay. In order to actually change any type of facial features or body structures other than my own weight, I have to do the effort or pay the money to do so. That's on me. If I find that that increases my value to somebody that I want to increase my value to. If I don't, and I'm happy with the way I am, then I just have to find someone else that values me for who I am. That puts more value in the fact that I'm a pretty good person. I am compassionate. I have a strong heart. I actually care what other people are going through. Um, I try to put people first, um, sometimes to my own detriment. That's another negative quality to some people. I'm too compassionate. I let people walk on me sometimes. And they say, hey, you're letting this person walk on you. Well, I realize that. That's my decision. That's my decision. I'm helping out somebody that can't help themselves and will never help me out. I have other people that I've helped out, and guess what? When I need it, they've been there for me. That is my decision. All things in life, we can decide. Uh, I don't make enough money. Well, I'm working at the job that I'm working at because I'm working there. It was my choice. If I want to make more money, I can go find another job. A lot of people will say, well, I don't have the skills to find another job. Well, then develop those skills. Um, I didn't say it's going to be easy. Um, if your work doesn't value, for, value you or another job doesn't value the skills that you bring to the table and value other skills, then find those other skills. You can make yourself more valuable in any walk of life. You can make yourself more skillful. You can make yourself more intelligent. Um, the idea that people say that I'm not smart enough to do that, I don't believe. With dedication and study, you can earn intelligence. You can earn wisdom. You can earn strength. Um, I'm using characteristics from D&D. Why? Because it seems to work. All of them you know, all of them are true. You can make yourself to a point where you're doing better. Well, I've got this problem. I got this disability. I got this weighing me down. Well, figure out how to overcome it. I have diabetes. I have to treat myself differently than I used to when I was 20. That doesn't mean I can't overcome and still accomplish my goals. Um, I know people that have lost an arm and still are lifting more than I am. People that have lost a leg and are still running marathons. People that are in a wheelchair that are in better health and condition than I am. Why? Because they chose not to let their disability define who they were. We can't let ours define us. We can't let what other people do define us unless we really want them to be the ones defining us. We have to start taking responsibility for ourselves and our own actions and where we're at in life. Can other people help contribute to where you're at? Yeah, you can't, you can't choose what other people do to you. They have to. You can choose to remove yourself from those situations. Um, and I don't think that you can never not choose to do that. It may be difficult. You may put yourself at risk to do so. But you can choose to remove yourself from those situations. The ultimate wonderful thing about this world, and it's also one of its difficulties, is we have the freedom of choice. Everything that happens to us and that we do in this life is because of a choice that we made. I'm not saying that accidents don't happen. You can be driving down the road your tire blows and next thing you 
in an auto accident. Was that your choice? Well, it was your choice to get in the car and drive, yes. It was your choice to put yourself at risk every time you drive that car, yes. Was it your choice that that tire picked a bad time to blow or that you ran over a nail that you didn't see in the road? No, that's an accident. Accidents do happen. But now it's your choice to see what you do afterwards. You know, um, it's your choice to pick yourself back up after it, no matter what happened. And you may not be able to live in the same life that you used to live due to some unfortunate incident, a sickness, an accident, something that somebody else did to you. You may have to change the way you live. You may have to change your lifestyle. That wasn't your choice. But it's your choice how you deal with it. I'm feeling that I'm starting to ramble a little bit, but I'm hoping I'm trying to get my point across. Um, you choose how to live your life. You choose your own self-value and what you find valuable in yourself and what you find valuable in others. You choose whether you feel successful or not. Don't let society do that for you. I feel successful in my life. Am I where I want to be? No, I'm not. But I'm working towards it. I'm working towards it. Um, I'm studying more. I'm reading more. I'm talking more. I'm putting myself out there for criticism a lot more. There's another thing that we have to discuss when we talk about this. It's criticism. Not all criticism is good. It's just not. People are hateful. Sometimes you're hateful for, towards people that you don't even know just because you're in a bad mood. People can criticize you hatefully. Oh, that's ugly. Oh, oh, is that really a guy? He says he's a guy. Looks like a girl to me. Those can be unfair criticisms. They're your criticisms. It's criticism people make. They have the right to do so. But they might be unfair. Take a look at those criticisms. Find out if they are unfair to you and your perspective. If they are unfair to you and your perspective, ignore them. Ignore them. If you think that that criticism has no merit or a criticism is unfair, you can ignore it. That's your choice. If you think that there is merit there for some reason, oh, you're fat. Well, shit, I do weigh an extra 20 pounds. You don't want that criticism anymore. Do something to change it. You determine your world worth. Don't be afraid to take criticism from people. Don't be afraid to criticize something that you see wrong, but try to do it in a way, you know, that is respectful for somebody. If someone comes up to you and asks, am I fat? Tell them the truth. Maybe find a tactful way of doing it. You may have to suffer the consequences, but hey, if they want the truth, or even ask them, do you really want me to tell you the truth of what I think? Some people will say, yeah, I do. Okay, well, guess what? That dress isn't flattering on you. It makes you, it highlights some of your flaws. It does make you look like you're overweight. Do I believe that all the time? No. But the dress isn't flattering. You wanted my honest opinion. There you go, you have it. Take it or leave it. If you don't like it, you shouldn't have asked for it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here right now. I can probably talk for hours upon hours on this. And if somebody wants to talk, my door is always open. Um, if you're in the Rolla area, I guess is the best way to put it. I live in Bell, Bell, Missouri. It's about half an hour from Rolla. My door is almost always open. And if I'm home and you're a friend, heck, if you're an acquaintance, and you want to drop by and just talk and have a respectful talk, my door is open. I'm sure you can find other people that will do the same. If you can't, go to a local church. Uh, some people say, oh, that's horrible. Religion is, is horrible. You're correct. Sometimes it can be. Sometimes some people there can be the biggest bigots. They can practice one thing and preach a completely different one. But you can find someone somewhere. They're out there. 
there's someone local that you can sit down and talk to. You just got to take the time to search it out and find it. You can go to, you can look up um, different groups online. You know, you have to do it. Don't put the blame on anybody else if it doesn't get done. In closing thoughts, and ultimately what I'm trying to say, I guess, is we are responsible for ourselves and our own actions. We determine our own self-worth. And we determine if someone else says value of you or lack thereof is something that you want to work towards. Just be happy. Be happy with who you are. And if you're not happy with it, work to change it. Only you can do it. How do you measure the wealth of a person? You make that determination. How do you measure your own value? You can be happy with it, or you can be upset. If you're upset, the only way that's going to change is you have to do it. Anyway, love you all. This is the Boss of Bill signing off. Um, if you want to, go on my YouTube channel so you can see some of my other talks, some of the videos of some of my trips. Hopefully, I get to make a lot more. And if I do, I want to make the videos to go along with it so that people can enjoy it with me. Um, like, subscribe if you want to. Heck, it might actually get me out more to be able to do more things. I don't know. We'll see. No one knows what the future holds. The future isn't written yet. Bless y'all. Goodbye.